Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I have an after Christmas haul to share with you. I got up bright and early this morning and I went to Walmart, the grocery store, and I also went to Target. I wanted to see if I could find any good deals, and I also needed things for some recipes and lots of things to organize my Christmas decor. So stay tuned and I will share it all with you. Okay guys, so I made it to Walmart first. I got there just after 8.30 and it was packed. And so quickly I went around and tried to find things that were on clearance, and I wasn't finding a whole lot. I did pick up some things that I'm hoping to use next year, but mostly I focused on storage, Christmas storage things. Now you guys will have to bear with me because I have all of my kids playing outside right over here and they're getting loud. They got all of their presents yesterday, lots of little scooters and tricycles and things, so they're having a blast right out there, so it might get loud, but we're gonna try our best anyway. So I'll go ahead and bring the things from Walmart and then I'll show you everything else. Okay friends, so while I'm bringing everything in from the car, I thought we could have a little chat about Christmas because I didn't end up vlogging very much at all. I really wanted to experience it with my kids and not worry about cameras and lights and all of that, but I'll let you know how it went anyway. I did go ahead and put lots of Insta stories on my Instagram if you want to see exactly what we had for dinner and our table settings and things like that. So go to Instagram, like today, if you want to see them. But in the morning, the kids woke up super early and I literally had only had like three hours of sleep. I know I wasn't supposed to do that anymore, but I had to wrap all the presents and I had cleaning to do and yeah, so not much sleep for me. We opened presents in the morning, the kids played with their toys and then I got ready for the family to come over. We had a huge spread. Everybody brought a couple of their favorite dishes and we shared them. We played games, we opened presents, and it was a really fun time for the family. Okay, so I have everything in here now and don't let this bag fool you. I know it says Daiso on there, but those things are really from Target. In California, you have to bring your own grocery bags everywhere you go, unless you wanna pay 10 cents per bag. That's just how it is. Now let's get started. So I'll go ahead and start with the things from Walmart first and then I'll show you the things from Target because it's just a few things from Target. I went to see which store had better after Christmas sales and definitely Walmart was the winner. My Target was kind of cleared out. They didn't have a lot to choose from at all. So I'll go ahead and show you. Now I do have to say that this year I decided to do the investment, to invest in these types of things. They're gonna keep my decorations and all of my materials um, safe and in good condition and so that I can reuse them every year. So it was a little bit pricey to buy these things but I think I'm going to use them, you know, get a lot of use out of them year after year. So I'll go ahead and show you these first so I can get them out of the way. These were marked down to 50% off and these are basically just a Christmas tree with the little berries and the pine cone and these were originally $8.87 and like I said they were 50% off. So I got two of those. Next I picked up this container and this is meant to hold bows and ribbons and things like that. You can see it was $6.97. This lid pops off here and there's actually a second tray here so you can put all of your tape right in there and you can put ribbon and scissors if you wanted to. And then down in there is where all of the bows go so the bows won't get crushed. Because I did buy some, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, during the clearance sale. So I'm all set for bows, for birthdays for the rest of the year, and for Christmas next year. And then we have this big guy. This was kind of pricey, it was $15, but this is a really sturdy, huge box. And this is gonna hold up to 72 ornaments, which I think is pretty much all of my most important ones. And as you probably know, I've had some issues with ornaments breaking, so I wanted to make sure that these were gonna be, this was gonna be really safe and protect them this year. So, there's a really nice sturdy latch here. And then this comes with a little cardboard pieces where you can divide all of your ornaments and keep them safe. So, I have that. And then I also picked up a wreath holder. This was only about $6 and it's a really big size. So I actually think what I'll be able to do is put my big wreath here and then actually nest the smaller wreaths in the center as well. So I think this is actually gonna hold all of my Christmas wreaths in here. And then I picked up two of these clear bins. These are the 64 quart size. And you could either choose a green lid or a red lid, but I went with red. I kind of tried to make everything match. So when my husband gets the decorations down for me from the attic, I can say, get all of the red bins and he'll know which ones to get because I have other things in the attic as well. 
And so these clear storage bins, I'm actually going to keep things like my drinkware and my chargers and my tablecloth in here because I do use those for Thanksgiving and other parties throughout the year. So I didn't want them to be with like the decorations. I wanted to keep them separate. So drinkware will go in here and then tablecloths in the other one. After that, I picked up this big guy. This is huge. This is meant for wrapping paper. And a lot of the times when you find these, they're like not quite tall enough for the really big rolls of paper, which I have a lot of. And so this will actually hold up to 32 rolls that are 40 inches. So it's gonna hold all of my wrapping paper, even the birthday stuff. So, and the lid part of this opens up just like that. Next, I picked up six of these latching totes. These are a 20 gallon size, and these were just over $6. They also had these in green, and they also had green lids as well, but I went with the red. And these are going to hold other ornaments that don't go in the other container. These are going to hold garlands and other decorations around the house. And I even have one for my outside lights as well. And I do have a labeling system. Maybe I'll show that to you in a separate video. So I have actually quite a few things in here I'll go ahead and show you. First, I picked up a double pack of these Kleenex tissues. Now, I know these are for Christmas, but I don't really mind that. These are gonna be for my car. These fit perfectly down inside the door of the car, so you can quickly grab a tissue when you need one. I also got two bags of bows. This one has black and white and red, and this one has green and red and white. And these were originally $4.88. So these are gonna fill up my bow container and then it'll be set for the year. For the kids, I picked up four of these glow wands. And these were 50% off as well, so that's a really good deal. We're headed back to Disneyland for my birthday and for Mackenzie's birthday in about a week and a half, so I'll be bringing these to Disneyland. Then I picked up six of these magic marker coloring things. My kids love these and they're especially good in the car, like a long car trip to Disneyland. I got three of the Rudolph ones, and three of the Minion ones. And my kids won't mind it's after Christmas and that these are Christmas themed. Normally these are like three to four dollars each, but on clearance they were like a buck fifty. So I know that they're gonna love those. I got one for each of the older kids. I also picked up some gift boxes. This was half off and it comes with 10 with several different sizes. So I'm good to go next year. I got two boxes of gift tags. We have the colorful ones and the classic ones. I got some tissue paper. I was in love with this plaid one this year. I use this one a lot. So I have one for next year. And then finally, I got some treat bags because I couldn't find these when I was looking for them this year. So I'll have them ready for next year. Now, I just picked up a few things from Target. They didn't really have a whole lot left as far as Christmas stuff. I did pick up one set of headphones for myself because I recently broke mine. Those were $5. I also picked up two more of these really cute plaid banners. As you can probably tell, I have one already. And so I was really happy to find two more for next year, and these were 50% off, so that's a really good deal. I also picked up one thing of ornaments. I really like these small ones, and these were 50% off as well. And finally, I got a few things to help me organize all of these decorations. I have some mounting tape, I have some sheet protectors, and some cardstock. So I'm gonna be printing out some labels, putting them in here, and then mounting them to my bins. So stay tuned for that organization video. Okay, so on to the things from the grocery store. I just went to one grocery store and that was Winco, and I mostly picked up things for some lunches this week and some recipes I'm going to be making for some upcoming videos. So I'll go ahead and start back here with this naughty thing. I don't buy soda very often, but I'm gonna be making some um, drinks for New Year's Eve. So I needed some Dr. Pepper, and I also needed some raspberry syrup and some coconut syrup and some whipped cream. So I'm gonna be making some yummy mocktails. Stay tuned for those. I also picked up some carrots and some celery some parsley, and some red grapes. I also picked up lots of salad kits. These are like my new favorite things, and it's like the perfect amount for one dinner for everybody. We have the sunflower crunch, and this has cabbage and romaine and kale, sunflower seeds, and a sweet onion dressing, and bacon bits, and some other things. Then there's also the barbecue ranch one, which basically is the same thing with just a few changes. 
And then this one is the Chipotle cheddar. So they all sound really tasty and a little bit on the healthier side. Maybe if you don't put too much dressing on there. I also picked up some raspberries, some cherry pie filling, some sweetened condensed milk, and some graham crackers. These all are going into a recipe video as well. Moving over here, I picked up a thing of strawberries and my kid's favorite, pomegranates. Now we actually do have our own pomegranate um, tree, but those are all done for the season. So I picked up this little container. Now in the dairy section, I have a block of sharp cheddar cheese, some Monterey Jack cheese, some cream, and some cream cheese. And as you can tell, I was trying to save <laughs> some money today by going with mostly the store brand because it definitely is cheaper at Winco to buy the store brand. I also picked up some mini croissants for some lunches. And I picked up these for my husband. These are the beef tamales, which are really popular around here at Christmas time. So I picked those up. I also got some Hawaiian rolls for lunches for the kids. And some little Smokies, which I've never, I don't know that I purchased these before, ever. But hopefully the kids and I will be making lunch today. And we're gonna try to make these little pigs in a blanket, which we've never made, so. We also picked up the biscuit dough and the crescent dough. I also have some whipped topping, some hot sauce. This is going into a recipe video. I have a rotisserie chicken, which I've never purchased one from Winco before. I'm guessing it's not quite as good as the one from Costco, but I wasn't going to Costco, so hopefully it's good. I got some clear plastic cups. I love these for making my own pudding cups and little desserts. I also got a box of the gluten-free penne for one dinner this night, or this week. And I also got some gluten-free crackers for my husband. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Also, let me know in the comments down below, when do you take down your Christmas decorations? Do you do it right after Christmas? Do you wait a while? Let me know, because I'm taking mine down today so I can make a video about it and show you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.